Okay, letter G. To get that arc, that question mark, that 79 is inside the circle. So one half of question mark plus 61. That is our uh, one of our theorems. Okay, I'm gonna take and get rid of that one half by multiplying both sides by two. It gives me 158. And then subtract 61. And the question mark is 97 degrees. All right, TSV is the measurement angle T, I think that should be TVS actually. So TVS is what it should be. Is supplementary to 79, so 180 minus 79. What I was wanting is 101. TSV is not an angle. Okay, um, I guess we could make it an angle actually. So it probably actually was fine. They were just intending it to go like this. Now I'm looking at it to just draw that in so that we found this to be 97 and TSV half of 97 is going to be 48.5. So I guess that's what they intended. Letter H, 50 doubled gives me Y, 100 degrees. 70 double gives me Z, 140. And x is 360 minus 140 minus 100, 120 degrees. All right. Lines that appear to be tangent. All right. They don't tell me that, but we're going to have to go with that. Lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. So we got a right angle there. And that is a right triangle. And 90 minus 58, 32 degrees for x. Okay, letter J. That's an inscribed angle, 6x plus 6. If we double it out, it gives me 13x plus 4. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2. As I keep solving for x, it looks like x turns out to be 8. Now x is 8. I wanted the measure of the arc, 13 times 8 plus 4, 108 degrees. Question mark inside the circle. One half then of 116 plus 68. 116 plus 68, half of that is 92 degrees for the question mark. GEH is a linear pair with that. So 180 minus 92 gives me 88 degrees. Find the measure of angle C. Well, we're in a semicircle, and in a semicircle, C is 90. And then from there, find me X. Well, because that's part of a semicircle, 7X plus 8 plus 5X plus 4 has to give me 180 because it's a semicircle, those two arcs. 15X plus 12. 180 minus 12 divided by 15. Uh, Sun plus eight. Does that come out nice? Hmm. Oh, wait. It's 7x plus 5. 7 plus 5 is 12x. My bad. So let me try that again. Still 180 minus 12, and divide that by 12. x is 14. Okay. Letter M. Inside the circle. 1 half of 88 plus 86. 88 plus 86, take half of that, 87 degrees. Outside the circle, that is our other one, one half of 90 minus 20. 90 minus 20 is 70, and half of 70 is 35 degrees. Okay, this is kind of the funky one, where we're given that arc of x to get that 60 degrees. We write that bigger arc in terms of x, We've seen that before. When we don't know that, we have to write it up like this in terms of x. So 60 equals, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna multiply both sides by two first to get rid of that half. And then I'm gonna solve out for x. 120 minus 360 divided by negative two. X is 120. All right, keep going there. 16, all I get in is one a system, a cleaned up system. So 8x minus 1 
plus 12y plus 5. Remember, those are supplementary. And then for the other opposite angles, opposite angles are supplementary in an inscribed quadrilateral. Okay, that starts it. And then the, again, the cleaned up version that I want from you guys that we've been focusing on. X's and Y's all lined up. And then the constants added over to the other side, which in this case gets me a 176. And on the other one, that gets me um, 7X plus 12Y equals 163. All right, 17 then, let's finish this off. Uh, finding the perimeter, 16 here, 14 given, that is six there. 10 here, that has to be four, that has to be four. Because these little bitty tick marks, they are the same. So this turns out to be 12, this turns out to be 10. So 12 plus 10 plus 14 plus 16, I'm thinking it's 52 inches. And then letter B. All right, all we have is 11 and a 7.5. Finding some place to start off with. Um, well, this is five here, that's five there, that's six, that's six, this is 13, that's seven, seven plus five here is 12, that's five there, that little bitty part is 2.5, so that little bitty part is 2.5, and that is 7.5. Walk it around, 11 plus 7.5 plus a 7.5 plus a 12 plus a 13. Looks like 51 meters. Good luck, study. Look at your quiz two and look at this 